Discover bar that you'll see at the end of the podium here as well that really personalizes how you access your content and gives you instant access to all of your favorites. As soon as we do that cast, we hand over the digital signature directly to the TV. The TV plays that content and it frees up our mobile device that I can still continue searching and look for that next piece of information. Compatible for your Android or iOS devices. So, this is the Android home menu for our, um, our television right here. Uh, we have the new remote that is all integrated into one rather than having multiple remotes because uh, the last couple of years we had two different remotes, one doing voice and smart functions. Uh, it's all integrated into one. The voice remote is right up top. So what we're showing here at, at this content, at booth is the voice functionality. So this year you can not only um, ask questions, you can also open applications and switch different inputs on the TV itself. So a good example is open YouTube. So you can ask, talk, and tell the TV to open application. If you hit the button again, Sony Electronics. They'll tell YouTube what to search and everything, and it'll show everything related to that. Um, because it's Google-based, um, you can also search depending on your location. Star Wars. It'll show you everything related to Star Wars, including showtimes located in your area in terms of movie theaters and everything. Yeah. So, and as, as well as the casting uh, uh, information regarding the director and what movies he's made in the past, previous movies of that content that you're looking for as well. And then another awesome cool feature, feature as well is if you look at your inputs, you can label your inputs and also there's HDMI 4. You can now tell the remote, switch to Blu-ray, it'll, it'll automatically switch to Blu-ray. So whatever you label the HDMI input, it'll switch to that as well. So what I'm showing here is basically the new content bar um, and how we access that. Last year we actually used two different remote controls. We had a similar remote control to this, which was our IR remote control for channels up, down, volume, things like that. And we had our one flick remote control, which was our voice search as well as our content bar. So that one flick, which we used to flick up, now is a discover button. And that discover button is going to pull up the content that we've customized to our viewing habits and what we like to, what we like to view. So right now we're currently looking at, at Netflix and can access all that content that would be there. Um, YouTube, but if there's something that's specific that I like to like to view, then I can come into my add genres and select that, and then that's where I can customize what I want to populate on my on my content bar. So if it's art, if it's drama, education, what have you. If I select drama, hit my back button. 
and then I'll have drama pop up, populate here in the channels that would be available for me to actually view. And that's basically the discover button as far as how to access that content.